a 20 year old is dead. He was pronounced this morning at 430 and the other victim, the survivor, uh, was shot in the head. Just another typical day in the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department gang unit. The walls are filled with photos of dead gang members and there's room for more. This has been going on since the turn of the century and uh, the only difference is that uh, the activities have increased to such a degree that it's uh, catastrophic in nature. Gang-related killings in the city of Los Angeles are down from last year. That's because many of the black gangs continue to honor a truce that was forged during the riots. Such is not the case in the county. Latino and Asian gangs are on a record pace for homicides because the gang population is growing and truce is not in their vocabulary. People just pass by and they shoot. They shoot and I guess it's I guess shooting is fun, you know, but it's not fun. Because, you know, my friends of mine, they've been shot and they've been dead. You know, and that hurts me, you know. So that makes me mad. I want to go up to them and, you know, do what I got to do. I don't think there ever be a truce. Not with us, anyways. Why not? I don't know. Just can't get along with nobody. Got to keep going. It goes on, it goes on. Never going to stop. It ain't going to die. It's just going to multiply. It's the way it is. Young kids grow up and that's how they know. There were 771 gang-related killings last year in L.A. County. Those who work with gang members say they just can't envision the killings ever coming to an end. They don't want to change. They'd rather leave it as is. They want to have the, the gang warfare, you know, with the other barrios. They don't want to forget what happened between them. They don't want to forget the homicides among them. Why? Well, it's always been like this. You know. These youngsters say the shootings must be slowing down because nobody in the neighborhood was killed in the last week. Greg Lamott, CNN, Los Angeles.